And I said, Hear, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel, for it is not for you to know judgment, who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them, and their flesh from off their bones, who also eat the flesh of my people, and flay their skin from off them, and they break their bones, and chop them in pieces, as for the pot, and as flesh within the cauldron. Then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved themselves ill in, that do in their doings. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth, and cry, Peace. And he that putteth it not into their hearts, they even prepare war against them. Therefore night shall be unto you, that ye shall not have a vision, and it shall be dark unto you that ye shall not divine, and the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the days shall be dark over them. Then shall the seers be ashamed, and the diviners confounded. Yea, they shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer of God. But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, and of judgment, and of might, to declare unto Jacob his transgression, and, and to Israel his sin. Hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob, and princes of the house of Israel, that abhor judgment and pervert all iniquity, all equity. They build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. Therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps, and the mountain of the house of, as the high places of the forest.